I had someone contact me and ask a question I get periodically. And I wanted to address that and see if I can make that something I can automate, which is to say I can do this Facebook Live and then have this on record to be able to send people to. And that question is, as my practice is growing as a teacher, students sometimes contact me and say, hey, I've studied with so-and-so, or I studied with this person, or I went to Thailand. You know, why should I study with you? And my answers to that are complex, which is why I think that having it in video form is a good idea. Here's the thing. If you're interested in studying traditional Thai massage, I think you should study with someone else. One. If you're interested in going beyond traditional Thai massage, I think you should study with me. I don't have any interest in pat answers. I don't have any interest in making things easy. I don't have any interest in making things... less complex than they actually are. If you're interested in asking questions, and you're interested in sitting around and questioning, well, why do we work the way we work? Why do we do things that way? Why do certain conditions respond to uh, pressure? You know, if you're interested in doing better body work, you should study with me. If you're interested in studying just traditional Thai massage, and you're interested in studying a formula, that's not what I teach. At this stage, I've written 700 or so pages of sequence manuals and I've produced what will be one, two, three, six, nine DVDs of content. When I finish phase two, it should be 12, I think. And the reason I'm rebranding to the name Reboot is I'm not teaching traditional Thai massage. I'm not really interested in traditional Thai massage. What happened was I learned Thai massage from someone who was like me, who is a syncretist, who is mixing and matching. I blend elements of yoga, yoga therapy, meditation, myofascial release, trigger point therapy, pain science, you know, all into this amalgamated whole that I now call Reboot because I'm trying to differentiate what I do from traditional Thai massage. I'm not interested in tradition. I'm not interested in lineage. I'm not interested in who you studied with before. I may ask those things to get some frame of reference, but I'm really not concerned about it. 99% of the marketplace of massage therapists and potential students for me work on a table. I do not. I do not work on a table. I'm not interested in table work. And though I offer a table tie curriculum that's really just to get people started to ease a therapist from table-based work to mat-based work. If you want to study with me, you're an iconoclast. You're interested in asking deep questions. You're not, you're not satisfied with pat answers. As much as I want to bring you along with what I'm doing, I don't want to create many needs. And if at some point you diverge from what I teach, I don't have an issue with that. I think that's a normal process and I don't want to prevent innovation. If you want to study with me, you want a teacher you can hang out and take shots of tequila with after class. Um, I got involved in what I do because I was in chronic pain and I didn't want to stick needles in my arm. Some people don't like the way I talk. Um, they don't like that I use the F word in class. If you don't like that, don't study with me. Go study with someone else. You can easily find someone who gives you a sequence, says always follow the sequence. I don't do that. I've given you 700 pages of sequence manuals and every class I'm going to tell you again and again and again to learn the sequence and then destroy it. You have to become a living, breathing coal train of body work. What that means is, is once I've taught you scales, you improvise. That depends on your physical shape. It depends on your physical structure. It depends on the clients that you work with. And there's usually at least 20 different ways to do one thing. I'm not going to criticize your posture and say it's wrong. I'm not going to talk about, uh, you're not, you know, you're not on Hara. Your hips aren't facing the client. I think that's bullshit. If you don't like that, don't study with me. That is not what I teach, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to help you in time 
both online through materials and in person, I'm going to help you customize your practice to you. I'm building the brand of Reboot because I want you to do three hour long mat based sessions. And I want you to see two clients a day. Two clients a day, four days a week, 52 weeks a year is a hundred thousand dollars. That's an ideal situation and I'm working on that. All I can tell you is if you want to study with me, you want to be one of the baddest motherfuckers in the massage industry in the United States. And again, if you don't like that I said that, it's cool. Go away. Go study with someone else. I know what I'm doing. And here's the thing. I'm confusing the bulk of the massage marketplace because they don't understand what I'm doing. Because they are stuck in a certain parameter that's on a table. I am not. I work on a mat and I'm just as much, if not more, a yoga teacher than I am a massage therapist. What that means is when I'm dealing with chronic pain, I don't look at it, work at it the way that most people think, oh, you apply cream to naked skin. No, that's not how I work. I don't think that's as effective. And if you want to debate me, that's fine. We can talk about it. I'm interested in helping people in chronic pain and I'm helping massage therapists create practices where they can thrive and they can have a home-based practice and excel. If not a home-based practice, they're at least in private practice on their own, renting a facility. What I am doing in a three-hour session cannot be replicated in any facility I've seen in the United States. And anytime I try to, I try to go in and teach, here's what happens. Because there's no specific regulation of Thai massage, what happens is the facility will take a little piece, a little sliver of what I do and say, hey, we do Thai massage now. And the problem is it gets watered down and it gets watered down and it gets watered down. If you go to Thailand, you can study with lots of different teachers. Why do people go to study with Pichette? And when people study with Pichette, a lot of people I hear, they freak out because they're like, Pichette doesn't teach a sequence. And I go, of course Pichette doesn't teach a sequence. Pichette is teaching what he does in the same way that I'm teaching what I do. Now, I don't want to put myself on the same level as Pichette. I mean, I have my own ego and flaws and foibles and I'm from the United States. But at the same time, I can't teach you anything than what I understand. And what I understand is how to help clients not have carpal tunnel syndrome. I know how to help clients not have sciatica. I know how to help clients get over physical pain that they'd usually have to stick dope into their veins to deal with. I can teach that to therapists. It is not magic. When you ask me, how do you get started? Follow me on social media. Talk with me. Think of my YouTube channel as a vault and a library of education. Go and watch all the videos. Then pay for the content that I put out through webinars. After you get that content, figure out how you're going to come take a class with me. My guess is, is that in late July, I will have an intro tie class here in my home studio in Round Rock, wherever you are in the country, if you want to come. Just follow me on social media, get on my email list, download your free workbook. I'll let you know. There's going to be a phase two class, which is 30 hours. My guess is late October, early November. It's going to be five days. When I go into those phase classes, I'm blowing open the curriculum. I'm teaching you elements of yoga. I'm teaching you elements of yoga therapy. I'm teaching you elements of everything that I do. And I'm not te teaching it like any other educator I've ever seen because no one person taught me what I do. What I did is I took 50% from teachers I worked with and then made the other 50% up working with people who were in pain. And when those people got better and were crying after session, they're like, I don't understand what you did. And I'm like, listen, I'm a really highly paid masher. This is my job. I press the flesh and work on tissue. I can teach people how to do what I do, but I made it up, guys. In other words, nobody taught me. I've learned as much from a tennis ball as I have from the majority of teachers that I've worked with. And that's not to diminish my teachers in any way, shape, or form, but I cannot diminish my own personal experience. I told people on the Massage Entrepreneurs once that I have had two primary teachers. One was a drunk driver, and the other was poverty, which means chronic pain and poverty. Those are my two main teachers. I figured out how to deal with chronic pain and became an excellent body worker. 
and then I figured out how to deal with business and became a good businessman. Those are my two teachers. If you want to kick ass, come study. If you want to study traditional Thai massage, go. There's lots of teachers who can fill that for you. I'm the one who can be me. I'll see you soon, see you soon and we'll uh, take a shot at tequila. You guys have a great day. Bye.